Hey there, what happens if your hair dryer gets wet? Electricity enthusiasts. Today, I'll be guiding you through this topic, a seasoned electrical engineer with over a decade of experience in the field. All right, let's get into it. So, you accidentally spilled some water on your hair dryer, and now you're wondering, is it safe to use? The answer is a resounding no. When water comes into contact with electrical appliances like a hair dryer, it can lead to some serious problems. Let's break it down step by step. First things first, water and electricity do not mix well. Water is a good conductor of electricity, and when it seeps into the hair dryer's internal components, it can create short circuits. This can lead to sparks, electrical shocks, and even fires. Now, let's talk about the most significant danger, electrical shock. When you turn on a wet hair dryer, the water acts as a pathway for electricity to flow where it shouldn't. If you touch the wet parts of the hair dryer while it's plugged in, you could get shocked. And trust me, folks, it's not a pleasant experience. Electrical shocks can cause injuries ranging from mild tingling to severe burns, and in the worst cases, they can be fatal. Beyond the risk of electrical shock, water can also cause irreversible damage to the hair dryer itself. Water can corrode the electrical connections and components, leading to malfunctioning and reducing the lifespan of your beloved hair dryer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, thanks for that. Now that we understand the risks, let's talk about what you should do if your hair dryer gets wet. The first and most crucial step is to unplug it immediately from the power source. This prevents any further electrical flow through the wet parts. Next, you need to let the hair dryer dry out completely. Never try to use it until you're absolutely sure it's dry, both inside and outside. You can gently shake the water out and then leave it in a well-ventilated area for at least 24 hours. Alternatively, you can use a hair dryer, not the wet one, of course, to blow dry the wet hair dryer on a cool setting. Of course, the best way to deal with this issue is to prevent it from happening in the first place. Be cautious when using your hair dryer near water sources like sinks or bathtubs, and always store it in a dry place after use. And there you have it, folks. Now you know the dangers of using a wet hair dryer and the essential steps to take if it ever happens to you. Your safety is of utmost importance, so never compromise it for convenience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any other electricity-related topics you'd like us to cover, drop a comment below. Thanks for joining us today on Electricity Frenzy. Stay safe, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next electrifying episode. Bye now.